Who had the best Batman voice? Okay, let's really break this down. Dear Blade, you'll be in a better jail forever. In the last few movies, Batman's voice has been severely changed and people didn't like it. I think the basic error is that the filmmakers were focusing on how Batman's voice should sound to criminals without thinking about who else is listening. Batman is heard by criminals, but also by innocent people. See the thing on my belt? Grab it. The police. If I get him to you, can you get him to talk? His friends. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. And most importantly, by us, the audience. And a person's voice tells us a lot more than what the words say. You see, while the Batman of the last two movies was focused on sounding frightening, Where is he? Like a large pizza. We missed out on things like the level of confidence in his voice, not stuttering, and projecting, which shows that someone sounds capable. So, unfortunately, I'm discounting Michael Keaton. You killed my parents. What? On top of that, trying to sound scary makes someone seem less so, which is the main reason Christian Bale is out. Swear to me. If the voice is deep, it indicates strength and maturity, but not too deep, unless you want him to sound unnatural and monstrous, like a serial killer. I'm not going to clarify whether or not I was there as an employee. Which is why Ben Affleck is out. Pepperoni. Now, people might say that the voice distortion and growling is to conceal Batman's identity. And that's true. Batman shouldn't sound the same as Bruce Wayne. So we can count out George Clooney and Adam West. Batman? Yes, Mr. Wayne. Don't be silly, Alfred. I freeze. I'm Batman. But here's a key idea. There are multiple believable options, and the best one is the one that also accomplishes the most emotionally for the audience. So you can have Batman change his voice. He had decided that Batman needed to have a different voice to Bruce Wayne. But still be confident and strong and so on. It's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. Don't even think <laughs> Don't even think about trying to escape. Secondly, people might say that Batman is supposed to strike fear into criminals. That's true too. But I think we're missing something about ourselves. When we're up to no good, we don't fear getting attacked. We fear getting caught. Thus, the feel of inevitable, hyper-competent authority does strike fear into criminals. And on top of that, it has an important effect on us as viewers because the tone of a person's voice can also be reassuring. If an innocent person who's in danger hears it, it can calm their nerves and lessen their shock. If Bruce Wayne could have given his life to your family, he would have. Also, Batman is not a robot. Emotion is human and we react to it. Little changes in his tone of voice can make us feel the danger of a situation. No more tricks, Edward. Release Chase. This is between you and me. And finally, Batman's voice should be consistent, and it shouldn't sound silly in the wrong context. I'm not wearing hockey pants. Combine these, and I think we have only one option. The best Batman voice in a movie, as far as I'm concerned, belonged to Val Kilmer. I see without seeing. To me, darkness is as clear as daylight. A distinct voice that projects confidence, strength, humanity, and the authority that frightens the guilty and comforts the innocent. Exactly. It's just too bad he wasn't in the best movie. Thanks anyway, and stay tuned.